Welcome to Talking Business, a podcast produced in Melbourne, Australia. The podcast is available on the ACAST app, the Apple Podcast Store, or wherever you go to get your podcasts. Or you can get it at the Business Acumen website at www.businessacumen.biz. I am Leon Gittler. My job is to review and monitor the week's news in business, finance and economics. I bring it all to you every week. This is episode number two in our series for 2022, and today's date is Friday, February the 11th. First, I'll be talking to Pete Seglinski, the co-founder and CEO of the Seabid Project, which makes light work of some of the thousands of pieces of floating debris and plastics that enter Sydney's waterways. And I'll be talking to KPMG senior economist and partner, Sarah Hunter, analysing the RBA's latest move to keep interest rates on hold. But now, let's hear from Pete Siglinski. Peter, tell me about the CBIN project. How does it work? Uh, so the, the way that the CBIN technology works is really easy, actually. It's, if you can imagine a garbage bin crossed with a pool skimmer, and then instead of putting in a swimming pool, you put it in the water in a marina, a port, or a yacht club, or a lake, even a river. And, and that's how it is. It's, a, it's about a metre high, so about three feet high, two feet across. And uh, we literally skim the surface of the water 24-7. And uh, we're collecting microplastics, fuel, oil, plastic fibres, polystyrene balls on a, a 24-7 basis. So we, we have a fleet of these CBN units in about 53 countries at the moment. And uh, we're collecting about 3.6 tonnes per day and filtering something like 500 million litres of water per day as well. And so who pays for this? Um, at the moment, uh, we, our, our business model is that we're selling the CBNs to the ports, marinas and yacht clubs. So predominantly it's private sales. So we, our clients will purchase a CBN, they will then host it, run it, and, and then get rid of the waste. But we're actually in a bit of a transitional 